The Center for Nanoscience and Nanobiotechnology at Boston University is a place where we try to bring together both undergraduate students and graduate students, postdocs as well as faculty from a variety of different disciplines and have them really come together on a variety of team projects that are in the field of nanoscience. We have a, a quite multidisciplinary research team with students from mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, biomedical engineering, medicine, biology, chemistry, physics, and the greatest impact of this is actually we learn from each other. The projects that we work on, we try to take from the basic science discoveries to how do we engineer that that's going to work in the point of care or in the clinical settings, and then how do we create in principle financial models that might move that from the university setting into the industrial settings. And so that's the space from basic research all the way to translation. Our team here at Boston University is fundamentally interested in applying a range of engineering approaches, specifically micro and nanofabrication approaches, to some interesting biomedical problems that we deal with in the clinic. And those range from uh, technologies such as scalable nanomanufacturing to advanced cell culture techniques. By working with uh, real medical hospital doctors, we targeting a important problems and working together and separately uh, towards real world applications. Having infrastructure in place is critical to make this kind of interdisciplinary collaboration between engineers and physician scientists achievable. My laboratory, in conjunction with Jennifer Rosen's laboratory at the BE Medical Center, is working on a molecular diagnostic for thyroid cancer that can be used inside the surgical suite. Our goal is to take small amounts of cells from the thyroid during a biopsy procedure and look for molecular signatures of cancer in that biopsy while the biopsy is taking place, while the patient is actually at the hospital. This then would allow for the patient to not have to come back for a subsequent surgery or an exploratory surgery should cancer not be suspected. We have a team that consists of both engineers, material science folks, on this side who are interested in making the diagnostic devices small, and the surgeons and doctors on the other side who know how to use them best. My team is developing a new way to deliver high concentrations of chemotherapy to cancer cells. We're creating small nanoparticles that are on the order of about 100 nanometers in size. And inside that nanoparticle is our drug of interest. And those nanoparticles will go to a cancer cell, get internalized inside the cancer cell, and once there, they will undergo a change from being about 100 nanometers in diameter to about 1,000 nanometers in diameter. That change in size, that change in volume, results in the drug being actually released into the cancer cell. And that leads to a high concentration of drug so that it can be therapeutically active. The reasoning behind this is that, one, we can increase the effectiveness of the drugs that we're administering this way. And on the other hand, we can also limit the systemic side effects uh, that are associated with the clinical formulation and systemic administration of these drugs. So this project really has multiple parts to it. There certainly is a part that is basic science, but there's also an engineering component, a biological component, and a clinical component. So it really is a merging of all these different disciplines coming together. And it's only because this work is so interdisciplinary that we're able to actually move forward on it. I think one of the really unique aspects about the program here is the emphasis on developing active social networks uh, between researchers, uh, their students, and cl uh, practicing clinicians. Every student in our program is, is actually co-mentored. So they have their mentor from their discipline, but they also have a mentor in the medical campus. So that co-mentoring program is really built into our, into our way of training. I think we do a really good job of developing bench-to-bedside translational research. This is an amazing, exciting time in science and engineering and healthcare in the world, and certainly in the United States. There's enormous effort to try to improve what we do in human health, and there's unbelievable opportunity in taking the discoveries that happened in the space of nanoscience and nanotechnology into that realm 
And so we're trying to spread the word about what we're doing in interdisciplinary training, what we're doing in our research, taking it from basic science to applications all the way to translation. We've developed a specific set of activities, a specific set of training environments, and even a very specific set of measurement to create these new scientists of the future.